Hey guys, it's Tech every week, and today I'm giving you a walkthrough of Mac OS X Lion. Alright guys, so what I'm actually using for this video is uh, Mac OS X Lion Goldmaster, and uh, the actual uh, release of OS X Lion, it, it's going to be released uh, sometime in mid-July, and as you can see it is July 9th right now, but it will be released in the Mac App Store for $30. And uh, that will be the final release, uh, like I said, at some time mid-July. This is the Gold Master, and I figure this is close enough to the actual final release. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a video on it. Uh, now this operating system, it does have a lot of the uh, the same features that Snow Leopard had, uh, which was the previous main uh, operating system to the Mac. And what Mac OS X Lion can do compared to Snow Leopard is a lot more. It has a lot of uh, features, like I'm going to shut down the computer, but I'll give you an example right now. If I hit shut down... Uh, you can reopen all the windows that you have open. Right now I have Safari open, and I got uh, iTunes, and of course my screen flow, which I'm using to record for this video. Um, but if I shut this down, uh, when I when I when when the computer boots back up, everything will be exactly where it was before, and it just has a lot more features than what Snow Leopard had. Uh, the one main thing you may not like about Lion is they actually do get rid of uh, an application called Front Row that Snow Leopard had, and uh, you can see it's not in here anymore. Uh, so it does kind of suck that that's, that is gone. If you do like Front Row, and uh, you definitely like it a lot. I would really consider actually just upgrading OS to Lion, j just because Front Row it's it's one feature slipper that uh, Lion does not have. Front Row is not one feature slipper that's going to hold you back from upgrading to Lion. Lion has so many more features than slipper. I would definitely recommend upgrading to it uh, when it comes when it comes time to releasing it. Two of my favorite features of OS to Lion are definitely Mission Control and Launchpad. Uh, Launchpad it pretty much gives you like the iOS device uh, layout of like launching applications. Like if I take uh, three of my fingers and my thumb, and I push them together. It reveals the launch pad, like right here. And uh, you got your folders. You can create folders, and this is pretty much how the iOS uh, devices look when you create folders and stuff like that. And it just creates. You have like pages like this, and it just creates a, a whole new way of launching your applications. Of course, you got your dock right down here, and you got your applications folder, uh, and you can launch them right from here. And you got your utilities and stuff like that, and you can go through here. And look at and launch them that way. But if you take uh, four fingers, it's just a completely new way of launching applications, and it, it, you can organize you can organize them a lot better, uh, in my opinion. And it's just everything is just a lot nicer on it. Uh, and I I really like how it has like the background. It brings up the launch pad, and then the background is fogged out like that. Uh, I think it looks really cool. Uh, so launch pad is definitely uh, one of my favorite features of OS 10 line. Uh, I can't say that it's the one that I use the most because I normally do launch my applications from my dock, uh, but I definitely use it uh, sometimes. Uh, but Mission Control. Mission Control is definitely an awesome feature of OS 10 line. Uh, I can take four fingers and I can swipe them up, and uh, it's not doing that page for some reason right now. But if I go over to this, uh, I can put four fingers up and it shows everything I have open. Uh, I got these are full screen applications. If I write in iTunes, that is another feature of OS 10 line. It's full screen applications, and I'll get into that a little bit later. But uh, you can see I can switch between all of these, and they're organized in the order that I use them the most frequently. So I've been using Safari more than iTunes right now, so Safari will come before that. And I can also take four fingers and swipe it across my uh, trackpad, and it'll take me to that full screen application. So I'm going through uh, all the things you see right here. If I take four fingers and go up right here, uh, you can see all these pages right here. Now, if I go one to the right, It'll bring up this uh, desktop, and what's very nice is if you come over here, you can just keep pressing all these pluses, and I can just create as many desktops as I want. I just keep going and going and going as much as I want. Now, you can if I go to my desktop three, I can go like this, and it'll just keep going through all these if I want to do that. Uh, so you can create as many desktops as you want, and of course you can go ahead and delete them if you don't want them there anymore. Uh, but this is going to be definitely a very long uh, video because I am going to go through most of the features of OS X Line. Uh, looks like we're already at. Uh, seven minutes uh, unedited, but it's just, this is definitely gonna be a long video. Uh, but to finish off Mission Control, so if I have a uh, uTorrent running on this desktop right here, and I decide maybe I want to open up uh, Microsoft Word, okay, so I got Microsoft Word and I got uTorrent running on the same uh, desktop here. Uh, once this launches up, one second, here you go. Uh, all right, so here you go. Uh, Microsoft Word is launched up, and here's uTorrent. Now let's say uTorrent is more of a background program. So I don't want it running right on my uh, desktop that I'm going to be doing some documenting with uh, Word or when I write up a paper or something like that. So I can take uTorrent and I can move it over to my desktop 3 right here. And now I can go back to my desktop 2 and now i got it all clean. And, uh, it's more of a cleaner look to my desktop and I can go ahead and edit with no distractions right there. Now if I do want to go back to uTorrent, I can go up here, my desktop 3, here is uTorrent. Now I don't have to do it that exact way. I don't have to switch between them like that. I can go ahead and take the four fingers and switch over. 
Uh, but it's just definitely cool. You can organize everything a lot more uh, to your personal pre preferences, and everything just runs a lot nicer. Uh, the mail application, uh, that is also a very nice application. I used to use Microsoft Outlook, uh, but now I have been stopping to use that, and I've been using uh, the mail application. I actually never used the mail application until OS 10 line and their full screen applications because the mail application looks a lot nicer now. It's got a, a more in-depth search, and you can just do a lot more with it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. All right, guys, so now I am going to go through the mail application. Uh, it does not look very nice. If you have it kind of in this small uh, look here. Now, this is how it used to look. Uh, now, this is the size that normally the mail application ran on Snow Leopard. And you can see right off the bat, it does not look nice at all. Uh, but if you just grow it up a little bit, if I do that, now you can see it looks a little bit better. Uh, but, of course, you got your full screen application here. Now, that's what these arrows are for. If I'm going to go ahead and tap on these arrows, it'll bring up the full screen application. And that's what I'm going to go through next is the full screen application feature of OS X Line. So here we go. So uh, now it is in full screen application, which means emission control. Uh, it's not correcting. It's not really doing too good right now. Uh, but, okay. For some reason, mission control is not working um, very nicely right now, but uh, let's go over here to this desktop and do it. So you can see now uh, the mail application is a full screen application. It is in my mission control uh, overlook here. Okay, but now if I go back here, you can see everything's laid out a lot nicer. So if I want to go ahead and click on one of my Gmails here, uh, everything's just laid out a lot nicer. You got you got a whole bunch of different viewing options, and I'm not going to go through the mail application features. I just want to go through the line features. So I'm going to go through more of the uh, the full screen applications. So once you go into the full screen application, uh, you can go ahead and exit out of the full screen application just by tapping right there. And uh, it's just very nice. It lays out everything a lot better. Uh, uh, next, I actually want to go through the Safari as a full screen application because it's a lot nicer. Uh, all of the other applications, as I can see so far, they are not laid out as nice as Safari. Safari uh, gives you a, definitely a great browsing experience online. And you can see right now, being in the full screen application, I can take two fingers and scroll up and down. And you can see the, you can see the scroll bar on the right there. Uh, it does appear and it goes away uh, when I'm scrolling and when I'm not scrolling. Now I'm not, so it disappears. And when I start scrolling again, you can see where it is. And it kind of gives you a more of a feel of where you are on that page. Uh, but the scrolling bar, it just it disappears when you stop moving. I do believe you can, if I start scrolling, the bar appears there. I, I can grab it again. If you like that, I do not like that. I don't know why you would do that, but maybe you don't like uh, using the two fingers to scroll down the pages, uh, but I definitely like that feature. Uh, here's another feature is if you take two fingers and slide, it gives you a very nice resume feature of when you're browsing through your internet pages. And if I want to go back to my previous page, I can go ahead and just I take two fingers and slide it, and there you go. It goes right back there, and it just you can see it's... And you can see it, it just resumes right away, and it just, it's got that cool transition. It just kind of completely uh, just goes over the screen like that, and I just like it a lot. It's definitely a very nice feature. Everything else in uh, Safari seems to be the same as it was in Snow Leopard, so I'm not going to go through any more of that. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back to this page. Uh, one uh, smaller detail that they changed in line is to now add your own login window here, and it shows your uh, login picture, and it kind of gives you some more information on your, on your account. Uh, so you can see it. You can just go right to the login window if I want to do that. If I do go to the login window, I think it will uh, get rid of the screen flow uh, recording I'm doing right now. So I don't want to do that yet. Uh, but one more thing I do want to say is because I'm not going to go to the login window, uh, I do want to say that they did change that web. They did change that up a little bit, and it looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. Uh, but the next thing I do want to go through is the system preferences. Uh, they added a lot more uh, things you can change up in here just because. Uh, OS 10 Line has so many more features of like uh, multi-touch features in the trackpad and stuff like that. So that's what I'm actually going to go to first. Uh, so you can swipe between pages uh, by scrolling left or uh, with two fingers like I showed you previously in uh, Safari. Uh, you can also use that with PDFs like they're showing here. Uh, you can also swipe between full screen applications using Mission Control, which I also showed you. Mission Control I showed you. Um, Expose is like if you swipe down four fingers, I guess I could show you guys that. Uh, if I have... Uh, you turn open here, and let's open up TeamViewer, uh, Skype, and Twitterific, and I guess we can open up iCal too. Um, so you get a whole bunch of applications all opened up in here, and this might take a little bit because I do have ScreenFlow running right now, uh, but it looks like it is loading up okay. So if I do uh, swipe down at four fingers, like it said in the system preferences, you can see right here it says swipe down at four fingers at expose. So right here it is. If I swipe down at four fingers, it kind of um, see, it's not doing it again. Uh, normally, it, it would, okay, here we go. It would look kind of like this. It it uh, kind of shows you exactly how they all look, and it organizes them kind of like this, except in a better way. Uh, for some reason, it's not doing it right now. I don't know why. Uh, let's see if we move them over to a different desktop. Let's try to move them over to desktop 4 and see if that works. No, it's not doing it, but 
normally it does kind of look like that, and I don't know, there's some things that are a little bit buggy just because it's the Gold Master, and it's not the actual final release yet, but uh, they're getting there, and it's looking very nice. Uh, I don't know why. It's Normally it, it was actually working before. It's not working now. I don't know why, but uh, maybe because I'm recording. Uh, but it does like, but Exploit, it does uh, put a, a nice look to it. Uh, that was also a feature of Snow Leopard that they still continued to take over to uh, Lion. Uh, Launchpad showed you that. Uh, show desktop, that's one thing I didn't show you, it's kind of the opposite launch pad, rather than uh, pinching in, you spread out and it shows your desktop, so I'll actually show that right here. So if I'm going to show my desktop, I just take three fingers on my thumb, and I push them out, and it shows my desktop. So that's uh, definitely a cool feature. Uh, the next thing I do want to go to is point and click, which is actually the first tab. These are the basic things I had in Snow Leopard, so I'm not going to go through any of that, but scroll and zoom, there's a little bit different. Uh, let's see. Uh, zoom in or out, uh, pinch with two fingers, that's normal, they kept that, double tap with two fingers, this is a little bit different, I'll show you that in Safari right now, uh, so here we go, if I want to get a closer look at maybe, uh, I don't know, that this isn't really a good example, but if I want to get a closer look at maybe this right here, I can double tap uh, with two fingers, and it kind of zooms in, it's got that uh, quick zoom in, kind of like how uh, the iDevices had, so whenever I double tap, it just kind of zooms in and zooms back out, so it's pretty cool, uh, definitely a cool feature. Uh, in my opinion, if I see if I want to get a closer look maybe at these, I don't know why I would, but if you do, then you can go ahead and do that. So it's cool maybe if uh, you're reading like something on Wikipedia or something like that. Uh, it's just, it's a pretty cool feature. Back to system preferences, uh, actually I guess that's all that's in there. Mac OS 10 line is definitely a very cool operating system, and I would, uh, for 30 bucks, I would definitely recommend upgrading to it. Uh, it obviously that beats Microsoft and they're all their uh, operating systems, like Windows 7. I don't know what that runs at, but I know it's over $100. Uh, it's just... Apple, I, I, in my opinion, I think operating systems should be free, but Apple's getting there, and I, definitely for a low price of only $30 for an operating system, I would just pay it just to even try it out. It's definitely cool, and uh, I would recommend anyone to try this if you're running on a Mac right now. Uh, one thing I do want to say is I'm not exactly sure, uh, because you do download it from uh, the, the Mac App Store, uh, that might be a disadvantage for some of you that want it on a disc. If you do some other stuff with that and you need it on a disc, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know what it, I, I don't know what you would use that for. Uh, but some people do need it on a disc, and uh, but I don't have a problem with it. The only thing I do have a problem with is uh, I don't think you can. If you do not like OS X Lion, I don't think you can go down to uh, Snow Leopard. Uh, I tried. I was on Developer Preview 4 before Goldmaster, and even being on the Goldmaster now, I cannot go back to Snow Leopard. The only reason, the only way you could do that. Uh, I think is to reformat your entire computer and have everything backed up on an external drive and then uh, put it all back onto your computer back onto Snow Leopard and that's the only way I can think of doing it and that would just definitely be a, it, it would be a pain I would definitely not recommend doing that uh, but you can see from, just from this video and I'm sure Apple have, have a nice layout if you look at their keynote of WWDC 2011 they showed a lot of the features of OS X Lion uh, so you can see this from all the people's demos of it and uh, the, the walkthroughs and everything like that, uh, you can see that if you would like it or not, and if you would like to upgrade to it. Uh, so I would, if you if you do like Snow Leopard a lot, or if you like Front Row, I, I would give it a little bit of thought. But it, you definitely don't need to give it that much thought. I, I would definitely recommend upgrading. That's all. I, that's all I want to say. Uh, but that's all, guys, for this video. Uh, I don't think I left out too many main features of uh, Mac OS X line. Uh, but if I did, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I might uh, do a recap of it if I do forget a lot of features. But I don't think I forgot that many. Uh, but that's all for now, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe for videos like this. You can also find my Twitter account for tech updates and my new video releases. Have a good day, guys, and that's all for now. This is iTech every week, signing out.